Uh, here's the dealio. So, you know, different mindset, different, you know, uh, just, I'm going to be restructuring how I conduct the streams, how I conduct my videos, and I'll explain what was going on. Uh, I'll explain, like, what made me take these two days, these two days off to reconsider what I'm doing and you know what the future will look like so here's the thing i was gonna upload a build video on saturday it's gonna be a magic assoric build video and on sunday i was gonna upload the stamina dk build video but i didn't you're probably wondering why i didn't upload the builds well here's the thing ever since i started you know covering this you know game and posting builds I would only post builds that I was 100% confident in, 100%. I've played them through thoroughly, 1v1, 1vx in a group, played my builds properly, and I have 100% confidence that these builds, if you use them properly, will give you good results. But what happened was, I rushed these builds because of all the pressure that was put on me from people asking for a build. You know, people want Stamina DK, people want Magic DK, people want Stamina Sork, Magic Sork, Stamina Nightblade. Oh, let's not forget, Stamina Nightblade with a 2H and a dual wield, Stamina Nightblade with 2H and bow, Stamina Nightblade with 2H and one hand and shield, uh, Stamina Nightblade with, you know, dual wield and 2H, Sork with dual wield, Sork with... So there were so many different builds that people wanted, and I felt so pressured that I needed to put these builds out. And I was about to post a Stam DK and a Magic of Sork video, and believe me, those builds were going to be good. They were going to work. I would, I, would, I would be able to 1vx with them and play properly, and you guys probably would have been able to 1vx with them and play properly, but the difference is I did not have 100% confidence in those builds because I rushed them, because I felt pressured that I needed to get these build videos out. I didn't get to play them thoroughly. I didn't get to test out the different sets, test out the different loadouts, and give you a proper build. Now, my stamina and I played bit... Uh, video from the last patch that was a proper build the magic dk heavy armor that was a proper build those builds were solid i played them thoroughly and i had full confidence that if i posted these these videos out you guys could pick up the builds and use them properly now with these builds that i was going to post i did not have full confidence in them that these builds were going to work so I decided that I was going to hold them off until I actually played through the builds played them thoroughly and figured out what build was going to work what loadouts were going to work for you guys I don't want to release half-assed content that's never been me I'm not going to release a build that I just put together really quickly and rely on the fact that oh I'm Cypher, they're just gonna they're just gonna use the build because they know me, like because of my name. No, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. That's not gonna be me. I'm gonna release a build that I know is great and that I know has barely any counters, that I know can perform well in Cyrodiil, perform well in Soul PP, perform well 1vx, 1v1, and I'm just not gonna allow myself to upload mediocre content and rely on the fact that people will watch it. And people will use the build just because I'm the one who posted it. So that's one thing. That's just the builds. I'm not going to be posting any build that I have no confidence. So don't... Here's the thing. Don't ask me when the build's going to be posted. If I have a build that's ready, I have never held out a build from you guys. Never held out. I share all my secrets with you guys. I share all my tips and advice. That's the whole idea behind this stream. So I can get you guys better at PvP. So if I have a build... And it's done, it's not gonna be held. I'm not gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna post it. If it's not done, I'm not gonna po I'm not gonna post it if it's not done. So I don't want people asking, like, oh, when are you gonna le release your Stam DK build? I will release it once I know the build is great. Uh, now my magic and I played that I posted, I was confident with that build. That build is basically a mix of my previous two builds. That one is I'm confident with. The Templar build that I posted, even though I don't play Templar, um, it's very similar to how Blabafat's build was conducted, 
and I played it on the PTS, and I was confident in that build as well. Now the Stam DK and Sorcerer was I have not even played them that that thoroughly. So I don't want to upload just a bunch of different builds, and I want to upload I want to upload quality videos. I want to upload quality builds. So that's why I decided not to upload those builds until I actually get through with them, play them thoroughly, and when I when I when I release a build and it has my name on it. I want I want that build to be great. I don't want it to be like, oh, this is just like a half halfway build, you know? If if I'm gonna put my name on a build, it has to be great. So that's why I'm gonna wait, do more testing, do more playthroughs with the builds, test out different loadouts, test out different, you know, builds and armor sets until I find something that works perfectly for me and something that I can be confident in giving you guys. Now there's another, there's another reason why I took two days off so I can think over some things. Now, when it comes to the PvE aspect of the build, like the gear, the gear hunt, I was not... Uh, one sec. I was not actually like actively doing PvE to get the gear that I needed, and that's a big part of the game. Like, I don't have any Undaunted passives on any of my accounts, right? Uh, none. Just never bothered enough to do it. Uh, <laughs> so, never bothered enough to do it. On top of that, I found myself mainly just using my time for PvP and not not doing any of the uh, uh, not doing any of the PvE you know, parts of the game that will give me the passives and gear that I needed. So, I'm restructuring the stream in the aspect that every single stream, I'm going to start off by doing the dailies. The, uh, the dailies on, I'm going to do it on my DK, do it on my Nightblade, and on my Sorcerer. So, every, every single stream, I'm going to do at least three dailies, uh, so I can get gold keys, which will give me the V16, uh, you know, Engine Guardian, Blood Spawn, uh, Malabeth and Malakina, the new the newer sets. I need to upgrade myself to V16. That's one that's one part of it. Second part is I PvP, work on builds, and at the end of the stream, the last like hour of the stream, I'll be working on my Templar because I keep telling myself I'm gonna level it, but the problem is I keep trying to do like one. I I feel like I just have to do one just. 20 hour grinding spree and get this from level 16 to v16 that's not going to work i have to slowly do it in portions so from now on the stream structure is going to be the beginning of the stream is i'm going to do the dailies with subscribers right so i'll pick subscribers from the chat one healer one tank one dps i'll be running dps on all my all my setups for pve because that's just the simplest thing for me to do so I'll be picking subscribers from, from the stream, one healer, one DPS, one tank, and we're going to be running the dailies on my DK, my Nightblade, and my Sorcerer. That way I can get three gold keys per day and have a chance at getting some of the V16 Undaunted sets. On top of that, in a few weeks, I'll have the Undaunted passives, and I'll be able to use those passives in PvP, and that'll help me. Uh, now, so that's, that's the first part. Second part is I'm going to be working on PvP builds and doing PvP during the second part of the stream. And at the end of the stream, the last, let's just say, 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going to be working on my Templar. Leveling him up. At least that way, we'll have some progression on the Templar slowly. And eventually, he'll be a veteran rank. Eventually, he'll be V16. Eventually, he'll be fully maxed out. And we'll gear him up. Now, for console. For console. For console, I'm going to be picking one account for now on Xbox and one account on PS4 and I've already decided on the Xbox I'm going to be focusing on my Nightblade and on the PS4 I'm going to be focusing on my DK it's going to be too much of a struggle for me to have to keep up with multiple console characters and multiple uh, PS like P Xbox and PS4 characters on top of PC my PC characters are already behind so if I start working too much on console I'm going to lose some of that time so I'm going to work on one PC, I mean one, one Xbox character, which is going to be my Nightblade, and one PS4 character, which is going to be my DK. Once they're maxed out, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to go uh, Xbox, DK, and then 
PS4, Nightblade. And once those are done, I'll work on my sword on both. So I'm taking the console one character at a time. That way I can um, progress through the, the console at a steady pace while not slowing down my PC characters. Now someone said that this is a PvP channel, so three dailies is too much. The dailies don't take too long to complete, to be honest with you. If we work properly, the daily should just take an hour and a half. Like 30 minutes to 40 minutes per daily. And if I run a, if, if the subscribers actually know how to PvE, and we can run through them pretty quickly on three characters, that's going to give me three gold keys. I need to get the V16 stuff. I need to get the V16 Molokina and the V16 Engine Guardian and Bloodspawn, you know? I got to do that, right? And I also got to get the Undaunted passes. So dailies are pretty short. I'm not going to be grinding PvE throughout the stream. I'm just going to do the dailies at the beginning of the stream so I can get that out of the way, get the keys, potentially get some reward out of it, get some gear, and then I start doing PvP, work on my PvP builds, do some PvP, tell our stone hunt, and then at the end of the stream, 30 minutes to an hour, we work on the Templar. So that's that's pretty much it. Now, you might be, like the reason I, I took these two days off is because these past couple of streams, I felt like I was forcing myself to stream. I was forcing myself to get on the computer and stream PvP. And by doing that, it resulted in a few things. First of all, I played poorly. If you watch my, 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 my past three, three to five streams, I was not playing at my usual level. On top of that, I was getting frustrated with the patch, even though I know once I get properly geared, I will be able to perform better than what I am. That doesn't, that doesn't take away from the fact that I still think some changes need to be made, but I was, I was making it too much about the patch and not about me adjusting. So... I felt like I was forcing myself to stream and I wasn't enjoying the stream. I wasn't enjoying it. Uh, if anything, it was just, it was causing me to be annoyed. So I took these two days off so I can rethink everything, realize what I was doing wrong, realize uh, what I needed to fix, and that's what I'm gonna do. Every single stream, we're gonna start off with the dailies, finish them on three accounts, then we're gonna do PvP. I'm going to gear up my characters, basically. The daily is going to help me gear up my characters with endgame gear. And I will release builds once they are complete. I am not going to release a build if, it, if I don't have confidence in it. So, I know some people are still going to be coming in here asking, Hey, where's this MDK build? Because people don't know. Just let them know. Cypher will release it when it's ready. I don't want to put a date on a build. The build will, will come together... It will eventually come together. The more I play the DK, the more I play, you know, the specific build. I'll also be swapping out gear and stuff. And eventually things will come together and I'll release a build once it's complete. Simple as that. Simple as that. So, I hope you guys are okay with this change. I think it's going to help me. It's going to put me in a better mood. Um, we're going to have a more structured stream. Things are going to be more smooth. I'm going to get gear that I need. I'm going to get passives. I'm going to be able to actually make money besides just selling, you know, AP or Telvar stones. So all of that together is going to help me. It's going to make my characters better. It's going to make the builds better. Quality over quantity, guys. That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. My characters, I've been playing, I've been playing without and undaunted passives. I've been playing without, um... I've been playing without, what do you call it, alchemy passives. Alchemy is something I have to work on on all my characters. i got to get all my characters to max alchemy. That way I can get the uh, passive that increases the duration of potions. Um, Grandpa was reading an invite to legend. I'll, what's your at name? And then on top of that, I've been playing with blue and purple gear. Just because I don't want to put down money on gold gear. But now I feel like it's time to start you know, running through some PvE. So I can get money, get gear. Upgrade my stuff, upgrade my passives, get everything done. That way my PvP builds look better, feel better, and I have options. Because right now it's, it comes down to like, oh, you know, maybe that gear set would work with this build. But I wouldn't know because I don't do PvE, so I don't have that set. Instead, it's going to be like, okay, I can try this set, this set, and this set. And whichever one's best, I'll let you guys know. So, let's start off, guys. 
Let's get into it, guys. I have too much talking. Um, let's do something.